Will VPNs get you banned for services? Account services? Uh, maybe like in 2025. It's currently 2023. You, you take whatever it is right now, you add two years, and then you'll get banned at that point, right? And that's probably the funniest joke we've heard from this whole situation to date, in my opinion. But to give everyone a very quick update, Oda uploaded a video saying he's quitting. And at the end, he literally goes on to say he's quitting RuneScape until he gets a response from the JMods. And in that video, he had some serious accusations showing Stella's crypto account, saying that she's real well trading every single day and it's all linked to her Discord, but she's not getting looked into or banned for that. And he also went on to say how much he's done for the game, being the biggest old school creator creator winning golden gnomes bringing millions and millions of views and players to the game but getting very little if any response from the j mods and he constantly just felt like he was on the outer circle and not someone they enjoyed and wanted to include in the game and basically that's a quick summary but if you want to check it out with all of the evidence it's all linked down below but let's hear Bodie's opinion on Oda Block's ban I think right now my best statement on the Oda ban is I don't know the truth of what's happened because there's not much proof but what we do know is mod is mod and confirmed the bans are legitimate now if the bans are because odablock paid for services on his account that's the first ban ever and i also believe a permanent and also a permanent chain ban is quite severe so it does feel you know when i say nothing personal just business this doesn't seem like business to me this seems like something a little on the uh, personal side but the end of the day you never really own a runescape account you just pay jagex to use them yeah but if jagex really are banning odor off the game for buying services or something it seems very personal not business bro and i think that was a perfect opinion by Bodie. he's been in the community for such a long time he knows how it's run and he knows that this is very very suspicious and i think odor's best point is how come stella's not getting looked into for any real world trade activity i'm waiting to hear a response from jagex it's going to be very interesting to hear what they have to say but let's get back to a few normal clips and first up we have an iron man who's just done 29k c at chambers but already has a purple Oh, oh my god. A lot of reaction from his CC, but what were they pogging about? Oh, what? Holy. Oh, what? Literally a game-changing drop. I love to see Irons get it super early as their first purple. And with this week's updates, there was a little visual glitch where some of the monsters and some players were visually disappearing for a split second throughout the game. Bro, why is my teammate? Why is my teammate disappearing? This happened to a couple of streamers. They were a little bit confused what was going on, but it was quickly hot fixed by Jagex, and I believe it was put down to a rune light visual glitch that quickly got fixed and is all better now. And on this day, while Foe was doing some agility, getting closer and closer to maxing his account, he found some of the biggest legends having the time of their life. Dude, you need to hit the guard, or I can't grab the loot, idiot. Bro, help me hit the guard. Wait, that's busting. What are you trying to do, bro? Gem stalls? Oh, that failed. <laughs> Wait, what is this? This is the guy? What the f What is happening? What do you mean? What did you get? I love to see a couple of new players having fun and look at their usernames, Rich Flex, and number one is just perfect. This next streamer had the random event where he had to catch the evil twin, but he had a nice little twist on it. Oh my god, look, we got Stella. You're going to the brig. We've got the What are her thoughts on DN? Now, Roydy's new partner knew something was up with that, but she wasn't exactly sure what, so she had to ask. <laughs> He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked Bodie, how come he's not a player moderator? And he had a very good response. Do I want to clean the game up? Or would I rather tell someone that crashes my Dagonoff world with a cannon to fall off a cliff and die on impact? Because I'm going to tell you, mate, I decided to go with the latter. No regrets. That's called thinking before you act. Always think of the pros and the cons, chat, because once you do something, you can't go back. 
A choice that many of us have made before, but one that unfortunately ended the RS felon up in prison. But anyway, let's switch over to good old Dino. Karasi wax man are not OP, trust me. I will put a Karasi, he, did he have a defender? I'm not even sure if he had a defender, man. But like, if I could put a Karasi and a DFS on, I'll hit. Now, I don't know what was going on with Dino while describing that. Maybe he had the jitters from a little bit of bad caffeine, but if you would like to get some amazing caffeine and pick yourself up a tub of gamer subs, my link is down below. Use code BEHE. And some more news today. The Falador Makeover Mage also updated all of their haircuts. They can do it. Some of them are super cool and they are much better than Greg singing. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't make me change my mind. It seems he's caught a little bit of the odor block curse. Hopefully he doesn't get banned soon. But some people were getting a little bit promiscuous with the new haircuts. I think I'm, oh my god. Why am I like so for my RuneScape character right now? What is this? Now I ain't no sim for the RuneScape characters. But some of them girls do be looking very bussin'. But skills specs had a great comment on this hairstyle. Hey, did it dino? Yeah, bro. And speaking of Dino, we better switch over to him who's resorted to PKing on the World 45 Dead Man Mode servers because he's just got nothing else to do in the wilderness. Chat. <coughs> Dead man mode. And it seems skill specs must have been up with the death matches because he was literally sponsoring the Bodhi live stream, giving him a whole bunch of dragon imps to go do some master clues. And it was all looking pretty good, but Bodhi thought that this may happen. How much money has the specs made, bro? How much has he made? Another twit. That's a billion GP of implings, mate. Oh, my brother, mate. I'm going to sell these on the G and buy myself another third age pickaxe, mate. Mr. Specs. The clues will be completed today. Every single one of them. I'm going to be honest, Specs. The day that you're cleaned, the implings won't be here anymore. Just saying. Oh, Specs. Yeah. But Skill Specs was having a pretty good day up until he got caught out in the wilderness and he was completely out of supplies trying to get the PK or make the escape. Dude, good fight, man, bro! Perhaps skill specs should have gone for the log out there. That was a very risky one. But after that, as he likes to do, he just had to stake 4 billion GP. He starts at the 39. This is 2 bill versus 2 bill. Uh, bro, this doesn't look good. A 17? Okay, 52, thank God. Come on, bro. Don't do it, dude. Please, chop. No! Okay. No! Okay. No! Okay. No! Dude! Two bill! Two bill! Two billion! And straight after, Skill Specs was telling himself it's just GP not to worry, and one of his viewers just had to remind him of this statement. I don't care about the GP, bro. <laughs> maybe a little! Maybe, maybe slightly. Maybe, maybe just a little. Ah! Now, hopefully, Bodhi's opened up all those dragon imps, or I think the ogre's gonna be coming crawling back looking for a little bit of GP. Some say he's a wizard, some say he can predict the future, but watch this call. Okay, PKers, run. Holy. Come on, big splashes. Holy! And the man ended up making the very nice escape. But if you have a look at the little screen down the bottom, he constantly has an alt sitting outside so he can see when the PK is log in. A very smart idea. Now we're about to see a mega rare drop from this chest, but it gets much worse. Oh, 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 that's a safe! A safe! A safe! Some pretty normal celebrations until someone got PK'd in real life. <laughs> I've heard a lot of reactions, but I've certainly never heard one like that. Let's see if Alyssa reacts the same way to this mega rare. <laughs> no way! 
And the reason she couldn't believe it is because she had about 0% chance of receiving it because she had an 8 death raid. But she did receive this. Well, maybe it's time for her to cry. It seems it was the absolute day for so many purples, but will this one be another mega rare? <gasps> oh my god! Are you kidding? <laughs> I've never seen a purple in my life. What is it? 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 <gasps> no way! I am now, I honestly don't know what's going on, but Rice Cup also pulled a solo purple. Like, if you just two down... Oh my god, I got another shadow. Holy f... A lot of GP for him on a solo, but I think that's enough staff clips to do us for the rest of the month. Let's switch over to a little bit of Zami. This Iron Man only needs one more spear to finish it off. Oh my god. Whoa! That's crazy. Oh. Always good to see a sneaky little minion spear. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please keep up the likes and the subs, and I'll see all you legends tomorrow.